They broke the TV. Just day one. Because I have to double now as a parent and also as a teacher. So it's really overwhelming for me. But then I have to stay sane because I got no nanny. And I got three children with me. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'd like to share some of what I do to stay sane <laughs> at this period with three children. A lot of people have ask these questions on whatsapp how are you going to put everything together i saw a video of a woman who's already complaining that at day one her children have already broken the tv on day one so she was really worried and i think a lot of parents are worried out there a lot of parents don't even know what to do now because most people haven't had this experience of being locked in for this long period of time and during holidays most parents still travel and they leave their children with friends and families and nannies and they have sleepovers but in this situation what together so a lot of people are already getting overwhelmed some people can't even wait for this whole lock in or lockdown situation to come to an end so i share what i do with you i hope you like it if you like it then you may try so the first thing i do honestly is to plan some people have not thought about it why should i sit and draw a plan on how my week or day should go with my children some people have been really really sat down to think about it from that perspective so i suggest that you plan planning honestly will help you keep yourself in check and also help you stay sane so after you're done planning please ensure that while planning you get them involved the next thing i do is that I involve my children in every activity that I would have to do starting from my morning routine. So when I begin my workout, for example, they're with me, they're counting with me, they're jumping with me, they're skipping with me, you're doing the workout with me. Anyhow, you have to do it. Kind of channel that positive, one, that two, energy three. that you already have, that they want to exert for that day, begin to channel it positively. So I get them involved in my routine, in my assignment, in my Saturday. After I'm done, with the exercise i know that the next thing i'm going to do is chores so you get involved in the chores also ensure that they already know their, their chores they know what they're going to do they know what activity it is they're going to have to do so get them involved that would have also been in your plan while drafting your plan ensure that that's properly in place so while you're working they're not just sitting and playing and jumping about or playing ball in the sitting room no they're working with you, they understanding the concept, they understanding how you roll. So get them involved with you. Your daily schedule should involve them. So after I'm done with my chores, of course it's time to have breakfast, take a bath, brush, and all of that according to the plan. So we ensure that we follow that plan, and I make sure that the rules and expectations for that day is set. So we set the expectation for that day. The consequences for breaking any of the rule would also be stated. So everybody knows the rule. Everybody knows the consequence. And then it is metered out. So when I'm busy, they're also busy. So that has also helped me stay in check. So later during the day, in the afternoon, I find out that after their energy has been channeled positively, they get tired and they sleep, they take a nap. So while they're sleeping, I get to do activities that does not require them, that does not involve them. Like filming, for example, this so while they're sleeping, I get to put other things in place, like do my online class, prepare online, because I have to double now as a parent and also as a teacher. So it's really overwhelming for me, but then I have to stay sane because I got no nanny and I got three children with me. So that's how we roll every time in the morning. So when they, are, when they wake up, of course, it's lunch time. After I've made lunch for them, they have lunch so it's our classroom time because we follow the time we just keep following the plan and the timetable that you have drafted it will really really help you believe me but if you can't really really follow that schedule maybe just do something very simple just do your morning routine afternoon and then evening if this is going to look very overwhelming for you but i'm going to have a video come up very soon on how i plan or how i draft my plan from morning to evening i think that should help you so stick around to this channel make sure that you subscribe tap on the notification bell that way you get notified when i drop that video or any video that regards parenting and teaching especially because that's what this channel is all about so after they've had lunch after the classroom time i allow them go out to have air i tell them it's time to get air so everybody dash out get air so while they're getting air also i'm putting some things in place that may not also require them preparing for dinner preparing also to put certain things in order so when they come back come back for playing of course clean routine they wash their hands take a bath then they get to they get to the dining with me we have a conversation time for a few minutes based on the plan remember and then when we're done dinner is ready so everyone eats and after dinner they get to watch tv so then 
I have another time to myself. So they have time to watch TV. Of course, they are at home. They're not going to have only academic work for a long time. So they watch their favorite cartoon, favorite TV program. And then most times I watch with them. And we get along that way. Before you know it, they fall asleep. I'm preparing to go to bed. And the whole day has been well utilized. So planning, honestly, will help you. I'd like you to share your own idea. What you think, what you've been doing, what you've been up to. Your suggestion. Somebody else may look at your suggestion. And be grateful for it. You never can tell. I may also have to learn from you. It's a, it's a learning channel, right? So it's an opportunity for us to learn. So jump in the comment section what you do with your children how you go about your day as a parent if you're a teacher let me know what you're doing let me, let me know how you're keeping sane in this period it's really very overwhelming and challenging but then we'll get by so please stay safe stay healthy take care of these children and be blessed thank you very much for watching if you like this video give it a thumb up that way more people can get to see it so until i come your way in another video it's me signing out and saying thank you for watching bye for now